With the match function in Excel, you can look for a value in an array and it will return the position of that item if it's found. So we'll look at a few examples. Here's a list of months and we could enter a month name or a month name with a wild card as part of it. And the match function in this cell is looking for the value that we've entered in cell D2. It's looking in cells B3 to B7. And we use a zero as the last argument here because the list is not sorted. So this function will return an exact match. So when I press enter, it finds MAR in the third item. We can also use an array as the place to look. So if I'm looking for what's ever in D5, I can type in these curly brackets and then put some text inside quote mark separated by comma. And we'll again use zero as the last argument because this list is not in ascending or descending order. When I press enter, it finds MAR as the third item in this list that's typed in as the array. Another example is looking through a list of scores and this list is in descending order. And we would like to find out what letter grade, whatever percentage is entered in this cell would have. So if I type 54 in here, D comes back as the grade. And I've used match to find the position in this list. So the match is looking at what's in B9. Then it tries to find that in cells B3 to B7. I've used minus 1 as the final argument because this list is sorted and in descending order. This is wrapped in a choose function, so whatever number is found here, it will return the item in one of these cells. So here, the 54 is D, so that was the fourth item, so it returns the result from cell C6, which is the fourth item in the choose function. For another formula, we can use match with VLOOKUP to make it more versatile. Normally we would look through a range, so VLOOKUP is going to look in the first column for a value and we'll say bring back a result from column 3 or 2 or 4, something specific. But to make this more flexible, we can let match find the right column for us to use. So here the VLOOKUP is going to find one of the regions and we'll let users select a region. So they might want the north region. So it would come down to this row and find a match for north. And instead of saying then go to column two, three or four, we'll let the user select a month. So if they pick January, the match function is going to come across this range of cells and it would find January in the second position here. So that's the column it would use. So here's the VLOOKUP looking for whatever is in H1 in this table. And the match is looking for whatever is in cell H2, which is the month name. It will look across B1 to E1 and those won't be sorted. So we use zero as the final argument. And when we press enter, it shows the sales for the North region in January, which is 144. And the final example here uses the match function within an array formula. And we've got the names of people in a contest. Each one has taken a guess at a number. And here's the correct number. We want to find out who's closest. So in this cell, we're using index to look through the list of names. And to find the correct name, we use match. Match is going to look for the minimum number. So who was closest? And, and this absolute function is going to 
let us pick someone who's either over or under the number. So it'll find the, the smallest difference between the correct number and the guess. And then it will find that number in the list and return that. So if it's person number two, then that's used in the index. And so Sam comes back as the correct answer and he's the winner.